Hello guys, it's Julia here, and in this video, I have my old Acer Aspire 5532, which was my very first Windows 7 laptop. It's on the OEM install of Windows 7, and I decided to do a big no-no when updating Windows 7, which is to let it install every single update it finds at once. Normally, when I reinstall Windows 7 on a computer, I will do around 50 updates at a time because I've noticed if you do like over 100, it freaks out, even sometimes if you do over 50. So I just find it best practice to install 50 updates at a time. You could see here I'm installing 191 updates all at once because I wanted to see what would happen since back in the past, like in 2015, when I installed over 50 updates, I don't remember how many, I think it was all like 100 and whatever updates, it failed. And I remember it took like five hours just to do all the updates, just for it to fail. So I wanted to see, will they fail if I do this? Will they succeed? because the last time I did this was years ago, and ever since then, I've always just done less at a time. Anyways, enjoy the time lapse, and you guys will see what happens when you install all updates on Windows 7 at once, and why you probably shouldn't do this. So as you guys can see, it succeeded 157 updates, however, it failed 34 updates, and we have three different error codes right here, which I'm not going to bother looking up, you guys can if you want, however, they probably failed because it was just too many at a time, some updates may have required others, and as you guys saw, it took several hours just to install all of those updates because you guys were watching it and you guys saw the clock, but you can see like browsing through the updates here, 
Some are pending, most of them are pending, but some of them had failed already. However, I had not rebooted at this point yet, so I was wondering if any updates would fail upon the reboot, which you guys are about to see the reboot process, and you guys will see, but there's some of the error codes right there. I was showing a couple of them, and then I went ahead and decided to restart it. Anyways, you guys can see that the updates actually seem to have worked. It logged in. I didn't see any like failure configuring update screen like I have in the past. You do see that edge popped up, so I had to end it because I'm not dealing with it. However, there was a shortcut on the desktop for some like troubleshooting Internet Explorer, meaning that Internet Explorer 11 must have failed to install. So that's just wonderful. So going through Windows Update, you guys can see that a lot of them were actually successful, but a lot of them also failed too. So honestly, like most of them worked, which I'm actually surprised. I expected a lot more to fail. I expected a con failure configuring update screen to for sure come up, but it never did. You guys can see that I opened up the uh, document and it wasn't wanting to open, so I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's do some more updates. Well, as you guys can see, out of the 70 updates, only two of them failed this time, probably due to unrelated reasons, as we didn't do over 100 this time. So anyways, let's just let this update. Anyways, as you guys can see, it finished updating, no errors, everything was successful here, except for probably those ones that failed before, I don't know. But anyways, there was another important update, which I decided to do the next day, along with all the other updates. So let's do them update, shall we?
So at this point, those updated, and I just continue to install every single Windows update that shows up and doing all of them at once. So you guys can watch me do that. Also, if you notice, it can take a while to check for updates. Like in one instance in this video, it took 30 minutes just to find anything. I'm not sure why Windows 7 takes so long. Well guys, we have every update installed up to January of 2020, which is when Windows 7 lost support. We got all of those updates installed. Did it take a while? Yes. Do I recommend doing over 100 updates at once on Windows 7? Absolutely not. 
because as you guys saw from that first clip, when it was installing the updates, it got more and more slow because the system just couldn't keep up with how many updates we told it to install and the amount of hours it took just to do that. Now, if you would have done 50 at a time, you actually would have gotten them done much quicker and it's actually a lot faster than you think. Yeah, you do have to restart more, but they don't get stuck there and take forever to update like in this scenario. Now, back in 2014, 2015, as you guys saw the screenshots when I did a lot of updates, I actually got the failure configuring update screen because, because it said all the updates succeeded, but then when it rebooted, they failed. So I think the difference between this and last time was the last time it actually succeeded them, but then failed on the reboot stage. But this time it failed before the reboot, but it wasn't every update, it was only some of them. And we also have to keep in mind there were also office updates in there too. So who knows like how many actual Windows updates there were in that scenario. So it's just quite possible that maybe Microsoft lowered the amount it gives you now on Windows 7. And back then it just gave you a lot more. I know in the future they released like an update that contained a lot of the updates. I know it was called like the convenience roll up, which I haven't used that in a while, but I think Microsoft has um, done something to make this not as bad. However, it's still an issue. So yeah, if you're updating Windows 7, just stick to 50 updates at a time. It'll save you a lot of time and trouble and it'll make the updates faster. Now, in these other screenshots I'm showing, this happened another time. I don't have the failure configuring screen, but I do have the screen of before it rebooted, which had a few errors. And then I had a picture of it saying that it couldn't do all the updates. So my guess, it probably did that screen as well. And I was probably away or I was probably asleep or something and I never actually saw it. But I had this happen a few times and I've even had it happen on Vista before, which I'm not gonna throw a screenshot up of that because I don't really wanna dig through my screenshots, but yeah, this can even happen on Vista, like if you do over like 200, so. Interesting video, I wanted to try this because, you know, wanted to see, you know, it's the same laptop that I had the problem with in the past, will it do it again? But yet I've actually had it happen on many laptops and many devices I've fixed for people as well in the past, so just passing on some information that I learned. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you ever have this problem happen on Windows 7 or Vista or any other operating system, feel free to leave a comment with your experience. I'd love to hear it. And pass on this information to anyone you know that has an older operating system and needs to update it so the same mistake doesn't happen to them. Anyways, I'd like to thank my channel members, which are Samir Yoshizawa, Dylan Veet, The Full Moon, Christian1739, Overgreen, StrawTech8, Psychvlogs, DJ1i28, Dencorn, Cyclone, Ritu, The Metal Shard, Glob, Star, Chris Garrett, along with everyone else on this list. You guys are very helpful and I really appreciate you guys, as well as everyone else, just for watching my content. It really means a lot to me. Anyways, I know I was a bit late uploading, but I should have more uploads coming soon, so thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye for now.